Quetzalcoatl Entertainment presents Quinton's Animation Extravaganza, episode 134, Mario Party Olympics 2. Attention all athletes! The second annual Mario Party Olympics is being held at Animation High School. Sign up if you want to compete. But remember, only four athletes are able to compete in the final events. Well, I was just about to head there, as a matter of fact. I can distinctly remember winning last year, so I'll do my very hardest again this year. Alright, let's go! Wow, lots of people showed up this year. Hope I'm able to become one of the four finalists. Why, yes, as a matter of fact, I have. Well, good luck! Man, I sure hope Lynn's hot head in this decreased this past year. Anyway, let's prepare for the preliminaries. Welcome, athletes, to the preliminaries of the second annual Mario Party Olympics. If you competed last year, then the rules of the preliminaries still apply this year. Just in case you're not, though, the matches are one-on-one -on -one battles. If you fall out of the ring or give up, you lose. You will be split up into four groups. Alright, let the preliminaries begin! Alright, we're about to determine the finalists for group 1. Will numbers 2 and 5 please come into the ring? Alright, let's do this! Guillotine! That didn't take long! Number 5 wins! Oh wow, I actually made it to the finals easily! And what luck, Lin didn't make it this year! Oh well, I'm sure the other three finals will be just as competitive. Do, oh, do, do you have it! Ooh, do, do, the field. Do, do, do you have it! Good! Hello everyone, I'm Mike O'Malley, and welcome to the second annual Mario Party Olympics, brought to you by Mario Brothers Pizza and Pasta. Just like the first year, our contestants will go through four outrageous events, and after that they'll tackle our crag in the center of the field. Also, unlike last year, we have Mo here as our referee instead of myself. Anyway, our first event is a 2 vs 2 event, Balloon Burst. One side will be David and Rob, on the other side will be Craig, and the winner of last year's Mario Party Olympics, Quinton. The first two with the pop of balloons wins, okay? Alright, we're ready to begin. Let's go to Mo. Mo! Players, on your mark! Get set! Bing! Let's go, Craig! Pop that sack of helium up! And the first balloon popped! Quentin and Craig win! They each get 250 points! Alright, now for our second event. A 1 versus 3 event. Shock Dropper Roll. And the chosen loner is... Quentin! Alright, time to unleash my devious side! Quentin will operate a switch, controlling a roller which the other three contestants will try to stay on. If those three fall off the roller and into the ball pit below, they're out. Alright, Quentin's ready to stand their old mad genius villain against the other three. Let's go to Mo. Mo! Players, on your mark! Get set! Bing! <laughs> Ooh, David is out! Rob has a little hesitation. Ooh, now he's out! Only Craig is left. Looks like Quentin's devious side is more devious than we thought! Oh, Craig is out! Quentin wins! He gets 250 points! We're halfway there now, folks. We move on to our third event now. This one's a brand new kind of event. A battle event. It's Bowser's Big Blast, named up for our hip and cool protector, who won last year's Mario Party Olympics. Now our players will pick a card to see if they get to continue on. But beware, one of these five cards is a bomb card. If a player picks this one, they are out. 
All right, we're ready to cook off some gas. Let's go to Mo. Mo! Players, on your mark. Get set. All right, as you see our players go through the cards, what's this? David's out already. All right, it's Rob's turn to pick a card, and oh, he's out too. All right, Greg's turn. He picks a card and he's good to go. All right, Quentin should be careful because... Oh, he's out! Craig is our winner! He gets 250 points! All right, we're now down to our final event. A free-for-all event from last year, Bumper Balls. All right, I'll just use the same strategy as last year. Players, on your mark! Get set, go! Get wet! What's this? Quentin's using the same strategy as he did last year! He must really want to defend his title! With David and Rob already out, it all comes down to this decision. Oh, Craig is out! Quentin wins! He gets 250 points! Alright folks, there's now one monstrous course left ahead of our contestants. The Aggro Crag. As you can see, it hasn't changed much from last year. Alright, let's go to Mo. Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the crack to climb on and may not cross into another player's path. During their climb, our players must hit each of seven targets located on their side of the crag. The first one to hit all the targets, including the final one at the top, wins. Alright, with Quinting having a chance at defending his title, the adrenaline surges in this event. It all comes down to this one athletic challenge. We're ready to kick this off. Mo! Players, on your mark! Get set! And Quentin dashes and hits his actuators as quickly as he can. And here come the boulders toppling David, Rob, and Quig. Quentin barely withstands. He conquers the crag. Craig finishes just behind him. Oh, and it looks like Rob has missed an actuator. He goes back and hits it. It's it. Third place finish is David. And then Rob. All right, let's get a move for the final results. Mo. In fourth place today, David. In third place, Rob. In second place, Craig. Our winner today, Quentin, defending his title from last year. Oh, yeah! They did it again! Did you see him? Oh, we saw him, all right. I like how the Craig now has seven actuators instead of six. It's pretty interesting. All right, folks, thank you all for coming. We hope to see you again next year. Am I dreaming? Oh my god! This is too good to be true! I defended my title! Anyway, thanks for watching and believing in me! Stop by me for crime attacks, okay? Alright! See you later! Yeah! This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2019. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is PBS, the public broadcasting service.